G'day. Welcome to Bootlosophy. My name is Tech, and I'm coming to you from Wajuk country in Western Australia and I recognise the traditional custodians of this land. I'm excited coming to you today because I've just picked up a parcel from the post office which has come from eBay. Parkhurst's Nighthawk Kudu. This is the box that arrived from the seller in eBay. Uh, it's really well sealed, so let's open it up and take a look at what's inside. I'm really excited because I, I love kudu leather and I think Parkhurst does a particularly good example. This is an older boot, but from what I can see on the pictures on eBay, it's uh, really well looked after and uh, looks hardly used. So plenty of uh, bubble wrap from the previous owner. Well, they've come in their Parkhurst boot bags, which is good. No spare laces, but I guess that's to be expected. And here they are in uh, the Nighthawk Kudu from Parkhurst. It's an Allen boot. And from what I can see, it's the old 18 last. So it's, it's not a new boot. Having said that, if you take a look at the heels and the sole, there's really hardly any wear in it. So I don't know. Uh, I'm looking into the footbed, which you probably can't see. There are some marks of a, a foot in there, but there are no indentations. Uh, and I did my due diligence in eBay as normal, which I'm happy to tell you about uh, when I do my eBay video, which uh, please comment below if that's what you want to hear. Let's take the other one out. Now these are in my usual 8D. I have to admit, on the eye they look a little bit smaller, but we'll see once I get them on foot. So again, the visual inspection is really quite good, hardly used, although it definitely is the 18 last and therefore um, not new. Let's have a look at one in close-up. So here it is in close-up. Um, it's a dark grey leather on the website and uh, on eBay, it actually looks a dark blue, like almost a navy, but no, it's a dark grey leather. It's kudu, you can see the scars of the animal, which is what I love the kudu for. I can feel from it, it's quite moist, so the previous owner has obviously conditioned it quite nicely. Uh, as you can see, there are some marks on the inside, but I don't think they're huge. Again, as you can see, there is some wear on the heel, but not great. So they have worn it. But, I mean, look at the threads. I don't think they've worn it very much at all. So there you go. The Parkhurst Allen boot in Nighthawk Kudu. So, I think what I'll do is try and get these on feet and see what they look like. Now, before I put these on, I should explain. A week ago, I usually wear boots or shoes in the house, but this one time that I did not. A week ago, I stubbed my little pinky toe against the corner of the bed and it bruised up until it was absolutely black and blue uh, and it's only just starting to come good. I'm pretty sure I can get my right foot in. I'm not sure of my left foot, so this might be a one-footed try-on. Let's see. These shoes visually actually look quite small, but I mean my foot slipped in very easily. So I don't really see that they're small at all. I'm not going to tie a special knot. I'm just going to tie it very quickly to get them on feet. They definitely fit my, my size, even though they're very slim. It's that 18 last. Very nice, it actually fits really well. Okay, if you hear 
me scream a little bit, that's the bruised toe. Mm. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ah. Oh. I shall do this for the art. Let's just get this up. Um, at least one more eyelet. This is a lovely steel grey colour in this kudu. I'm really liking it. And the shape of that almond toe 18 last is really nice. So there you go. Very gingerly standing on the left foot. But indeed, a lovely fit. Okay. So as you saw there, I, I did manage to get my bruised toe in, but I, I can't keep them on, which is a bit of a shame. Um, for those of you who don't know Parkhurst, they're a newish boot brand uh, made out of upstate New York. Uh, the owner, Andrew Savisco, is a top bloke. He's really extremely responsive to queries and so on. Uh, Parkhurst make really good boots out of very exotic leathers. In this case, Kudu, which is a Southern African antelope. Uh, it's specially chosen, Kudu, by Charles F. Stead because of all the marks and scratchings and uh, life journeys that the animal has been through. The quality of these boots, second-hand as they are, are really quite good. There's no loose stitching that I could see on either boot. Uh, the um, hardware is unmarked and, and extremely secure. Uh, the laces in dark grey match the dark grey of the, of the leather, which as I said on the website actually sometimes looks navy blue, so I think it would depend on light. Um, I bought this on eBay for US $210, which is over $100 off the uh, 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 list price. In fact, I think it's something like $170 off the list price. It's in the old 18 last, the almond shaped last. Fits me really well uh, and, you know, hardly worn. Um, I, I did my due diligence on eBay, which I'll tell you about if you like, if you just put some comments below saying that you want to hear about them. I'm very pleased with the purchase. So there you have it, guys. Um, I hope you like this uh, unboxing. I, I will review these boots in about six months after I've worn them for a while so I can actually tell you what they like. I don't expect to not like them because as you know, I've got a lot of Parkhurst boots and I really love that make. Uh, and this old 18 last is one of my favorite lasts. So if you like the video, click on like, please click on subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and I'll see you soon.